And, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome back, folks. Let's play Myth. So all those guys run and presumably get themselves killed. We're going to advance forward. And destroy ourselves a world knot. What world knots are, they're basically just portals that allow you to teleport from one part of the world to the other. Uh, they actually play a slightly big role in this uh, kind of universe. So, Alright, well you guys go have fun praying. Hope your prayers you know, get answered and whatnot, but whatever. Now seeing as how we don't have many melee, we got to be really careful about this. And even though we have a lot of dwarves, it's ideal not to, you know, use them all at once because when there's a group of them, that's when disaster can pretty much strike. Because uh, you've seen before that dwarves can kill their own men. There is friendly fire in this. And then I saw The Dark Knight last, or Dark Knight Rises last night. Um, the movie itself was really good. They just, I felt like they downplayed Bane quite a bit. Like, when you first see him, he's, you know, this unstoppable force, and then, uh, certain events happen, and you find out things about him, you're just like, oh, wow, Bane's really not all that awesome. He's secondary in his own designs. And what I mean by that is he's on someone else's payroll. He's not on his own, he's not his own, uh, person, basically. Yep, oh, firing at me. Ooh, that was a good hit. Alright, we need to take those guys out. Quickly kill him. Turn that up a bit. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna save here. There's nothing wrong with saving often. At least I feel. And there's an army of them waiting for us on this side of the bridge. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Holy crap. Okay, so set up a line there. Have our berserkers over there. Uh, my dwarves line up here. Oops, now I'm going to try not to use him. Alright then, so we'll advance forward with our archers. And we'll take try to take these solace out. We got one. Okay, we need to regroup. Fall back. I'll send in a few dwarves and then we'll use them to take out those thrall that are lumbering towards. Ooh! Goals! Yeah. At least that's what I think they are, considering how fast they're moving. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Alright, let's save these people. Or try to, anyways. Yeah, see what praying does for you? You morons. Oh shit, hello. That's right, run away. Unfortunately, my berserkers aren't as fast as their uh, goals are. They got more thrall coming. Fall 
back. Okay, I'll just send one forward. Oh, wow, you idiot. Can't believe I didn't notice that earlier. Kill him already. Yeah, that's one down. Two. Alright, don't get too far ahead because we still got those goals to worry about. Oh, there he is. And you see what I mean by a disaster? <laughs> that kind of crap can happen. Only well, it doesn't fling that way, it flings towards him. Okay. Okay, without shooting each other this time, please. Now, what I find odd is their guys can walk over that ice, but mine can't. I mean, it's not that I find it unfair, I just find it odd. Three of those skulls are about dead. Okay, I'm worried that these guys are going to shoot each other, so I'm just going to save over that one. Or I'll make a new one. I'll just make a new one. There. Oh, got one. That one has to be close to death. I know at least two of those guys really are. Yep, that one's dead. Alright, so they're less of a threat, and all we have are these little this little group here. You guys. Well, then again, I'll give you credit. Goals are pretty fast. And they can be a pain to hit.
Alright, so we'll start getting towards this side of the bridge, or land area. Solace. Holy crap. Holy crap. Replace. God, you guys are cowards. Won't even come at me. Oh, now they are. Let's fall back. I'll let the dwarves handle this. Those guys moving forward? No, nope, they're just sitting around and chilling, which hey, I'm completely content with. Versus five berserks. Well, it's pretty obvious he's going to win that one. Ha ha! So I guess those guys aren't actually going to come after me, which is fine. All those people that died in just the four goals. Sad. Oh, yes it is. I see you back there, you little goals. Oh, hell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that almost ended badly. That's right, come after my dwarves. Good stuff. is clear. Crystal clear. Let's see, we got, I know survivors, yeah, survivors still, I was going to say, did we lose survivor? He's almost dead. Okay, so those guys are just, I guess, going to continuously try to follow me. I'll have my archers stand right there in case they decide to come after me. Over here. The Ozzy Widowmaker. He Fonyard who venture or who vultures follow. Therin Thrimir Cowards Master. Rafner always wounded. Okay, that's all of them. Thought I'd read their names off. No, I think I have to destroy at least two of these. Um, 
Oh crap, run! Oh hey, holy shit. Run, dude, run! Never mind. Well, that's one gone. Oh, that was it? Well, his sacrifice will forever be remembered. Because of his brave sacrifice, actually it was an accident that he died, but no matter. Yeah, I guess I just have two archers from that first mission still alive, so I guess that means that one that died... Oh well. Archers again inflicted the most damage. Had 70 kills, 70, or 45 thrall, 17 solas, 8 golds. Save, er, next level. I don't know why I said save. Wednesday, November 12th. Fools traverse the Grada. Damn, I hate the cold. A few months of warm weather, and you forget what it's like to have your eyes frost shut and the snot freeze in your nose. And it doesn't bother the undead one bit either, I'm sure. We're up here in the mountains to stop the deceiver from crossing into the west before winter closes the high passes. It's already started to snow pretty hard, so we shouldn't have to be here longer than a few more days. But Rada is a maze of tiny canyons crisscrossing the mountains between the Plain of Scales and Forest Park. There are 30 small groups of men like mine waiting at key junctions inside the pass. But the main body of our force is camped in the valley below, with hot meals and dry beds. I guess the worst thing about having a reputation for being a bunch of hard asses is that the Legion always finds itself where the fighting will be ugliest. So we're up here as the first line of defense against an attack by the Deceiver. Tearfing just came running into camp, bellowing that our scout signal fire has gone out. That means trouble. Uh-oh. check something right quick so see you all in a few minutes replace and we're back just thought I'd check we don't got a lot of archer we got a nice bit of melee though but not so many ranged units this time around yeah, we don't have our main dwarf with us uh oh myrmidons I think I'll just send my Berserkers out to deal with them, personally. Come here, you ugly undead bastards. Holy... Oh, it's just... Wow, that's a lot of solas. Okay, so those guys are just running around being idiots. Which is fine. They're perfectly content to do that. I'm perfectly content if they do that. Alright, so let's deal with us, or deal with these solas. Huh, this might be painful given that we only have four archers. Get him! You guys go after them. Let's have my archers on standby over here. You guys go after the. No, 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 you idiots. 
You go after him. Oh, never mind. Okay, that takes care of him. What do we got coming this way? Myrmidons! That ain't good. Show you a trick if I can. Ha ha! And the trick is that uh, Mandrake roots actually hurt the undead, and these guys can't get up there. Okay, so let's turn around, come back, and then I'll have my archers deal with them if they decide to return. Oops, is that what I meant to hit? I just want to see who's coming this way. Look at that. Berserker over there needs to be healed. So who do we got coming this way? God damn keys. Keep hitting the wrong damn one. Yeah, it's getting a formation. Oh, shit. Turn around. Run, 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 run. Just the initial encounter, we're already using up all of our mandrakes. I wonder where those two solace ran off to, or floated off to, I should say. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's see if we can find our group that have suddenly disappeared. Well, at least Survivor didn't take any damage. Holy crap, that's a big group of them. Yeah. He's according to my map, it is. What? Get out of the way, numbskull. You moron. Kill him. 
good. Oh, nice. Go off, go off. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, that was easily dealt with. Moving on. Solus. It's about to get. Oh no, Myrmidons. Yes. Okay, we're not having any luck hitting them. I guess that's a solace sitting up there. Yes, it is. Alright, now I'll take them out. Disaster. Okay, I definitely need to heal this guy. <laughs> Alright, now let's take out this Solus. Why are you so Solus? Ooh, hello. Thankfully those trees are covering my guys, so I don't have to worry about them getting hit. Good stuff. Let's take these two out. And I don't mean to dinner. I'm in their range. One down. Crap, crap. Ooh, he got hit. Who was that? Ooh, survivor. Holy crap. Uh. Who's coming this way? Yeah, more Myrmidons. Yeah. All right, Berserker. Ooh, actually, let's see if we can use our dwarf on him. Aha! 
Alright, that's as good a time as I need to save. Replace. Our units received. Ooh, new units. Please tell me I have a journeyman or even more archers. That'll be fine. Ooh, both. Nice. Makes me a very happy camper. Let's speed this up. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, myrmidons. The hell is your guys like accuracy just all of a sudden get better? came of the, or well, I would say we know what became of them, but let's go see if we can find out what caused it. Although I'm pretty sure, I don't know if the cinematic played or not, but I'm pretty sure whatever it was, it was whatever was on that cinematic. And I mean, I, I think the sound of it went through, so you heard a loud footstep, so yes, whatever it is, it's big. That's what she said. here. Right, let's get everybody back here. We'll let the archers deal with it. Get over there, you idiot. Oh, wow. Okay, you were trying to get there. Oh, well. So. Still, still. Solus, I almost said Stolus. That, that's not a word. Yeah. Okay, get back, get back, you.
Whoa, that's a big dude. Wow, that almost landed near my guys. Or almost landed on my guys. Berserker. It's like a berserker and two warriors. Well, we won that little encounter though. Yeah, I lost three warriors. Oh, I didn't lose any berserkers. I just lost three warriors. That's fine. I just won I lost a berserker in that little fight though. But hey, survivor survived. Thrall, 32, 20 Solus, and 17 Myrmidons. Plus one Thrall. Or, not one Thrall, one uh, Trow is what those giant guys are called. Now, we do get a unit later on that's uh, equivalent to the Trow, but we don't get it that often. I think we get it in maybe a whopping two levels, maybe three. Something around those lines. Friday, November 14th, Devil's Overlook, Magrada. The snow hasn't stopped in two days, and in some places the drifts are already twice the height of a man. Even the fallen will have to wait until spring before they try to cross the mountains here again. But not all of the enemy retired ahead of the snow. For the last two hours we watched a column of a hundred soulless, separated from their masters and obviously lost, wandering the canyons below. Wards are running about like delirious children. It should be a spectacular ambush. Ravikon has held seven gates, and the snow has begun there as well. We have done the unthinkable. We have pushed the fallen back to the mountains. But our success here is tempered by Ulrich's failure to return west with the Eastern Army before winter, and the Watcher's continued presence behind us. It's not going to be an easy winter. Now, this mission, um, well, it can go one of two ways. It can be really easy or it can be really hard. Now, it can be really easy because you get a lot of dwarves. You can be really hard because you have a lot of dwarves. You take your pick. Anyway, folks, we'll do this mission when we return. So, I didn't mean to do that. Wow. Okay, anyway, see you all shortly.